everybody, welcome to another episode of Teen Gen Talks, where the goal is to empower the youth of Glendale, connect youth to community resources, individuals, and organizations. I'm your host, Melissa. Hi, and I'm Desiree. Today, we are going to be doing bookmark resins with dried up flowers. So continue watching along as we create these bookmarkers. So we have the UV resin here, and then we have the UV lamp over there. Yes, some dried up flowers. We have the bookmarker molds and some tassels. So yeah, it's pretty basic. I think mm -hmm. or pretty self-explanatory, I think. So before we get started, we have to protect ourselves. So we have gloves and then mask for the fumes of the resin. Um, so yeah, let's do that. I should probably put the mask first. Oh no. So we're going to pour some on these little cups that the kit comes with. And then we already chose our molds, so these are the molds that we have. And we're going to slowly pour it on there and then add could, some flowers. We could actually just use this. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's, well, let me try. Sure. You could, you could try it out first. I think it's because... Maybe maybe that light first layer is okay, and then put the stuff and then and then do another. I'm gonna try with this and see yeah. how it how it works. You also might um, I find it easier on here because the white with this, the clear, mm -hmm. it kind of blends in like on the side. On the side. You can't. For me, I couldn't tell. Maybe you can, might be better at. Yeah, I think it's better to use a cup. Right? Yeah, it's filling up like this. Why do you feel like this is like a science experiment? I know. I just don't want it to like overflow, you know? I feel like it's at the top or almost at the top. Just from looking at that. Yeah. It looks like it's almost yeah. from like if you look from the side. I 
Like from my angle, it looks like the closer to me, it looks like it's at the top. Right, it's just this side. Yeah, that side that doesn't side. look like it's at the top. So I'm carrying my mold right now and I guess it depends how many watts your lamp has. Um, so it's if it's between 6 to 9 it's like about 60 seconds to 80 seconds but if it has 36 watts it's 50 seconds to 70 seconds. Does it matter like um, if you have it sit longer than the seconds that they, that they put. I don't think so. Mine is done. So let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Alrighty. How pretty. And then, the um, you, I think you, I do have to do it this side. Oh, oh, here, here, here. Do yours. Oh. Like, not that long, but just a little. But that's so pretty. Aw. I really like it. Oh, it's so pretty. I really like it. You look so proud. <laughs> I know, and I did the bare minimum. I'm <laughs> proud. I just, you know, poured. This is, I don't even know if you can tell. Go the other way. This. Oh, look at the tassel. Yes, now I get to choose my tassel. So we do have like a bunch of tassels here. Can you give me an orange one? Yeah. I think I'm gonna do like oh, the purple. Like the little. Don't bend it that much. There we go. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm just staring at you. They're very fragile. There we go. I'm ter I, I am terrified it's gonna like crack. There we go. Yay. Hey. Oh. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, hold on. You'll see it in a second. What happened? <laughs> um. It's not layered or not. Wait. What do you mean? It's thin at the top and thick at the bottom. <laughs> That's why it's like, uh, oh, when it looked like you were bending it, I was like, why are you bending it? Yeah, that's why. Okay. I, I don't think mine is like, yeah, but see, when you took yours out, yours was like, no, like, you could, like, look at the side. You could tell significantly. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you could do yours so much. Yeah, see, yours is like way. I think over at the end it looked a little 
No, it's my piece like you know a little bit, but yeah. yours is very even. <laughs> it's okay. There we go. And then go in, right? Yeah, I I like oh, I go through here. You know what I mean? Oh, the other way. Yeah. That's the other way. Yeah. Wait, well, if wait. I let go. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So then, like, yeah, like this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there. <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> Did you cut it? No. No, I went like this. Like, it's un it's hot <laughs> untied. Well. Well, good thing we have a lot. Yeah, it's okay. I think yeah. I'm just gonna. Yeah. I, I don't know. No, there's one more orange. Oh, there is? Yeah. Wait, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? At least this didn't fall down. That's true. It would have. Can you imagine if it shattered? Maybe I shouldn't look at you when you do these. No, my hands are sweaty too. Ten hours later. Yay. Yeah. Hey. Our little resin bookmarkers. And we're gonna put it in our currently reading. Yes, so we, these are the books that we're currently yes. reading. I am rereading War Cross by Mary Lou. And I'm reading A Court of Mist and Fairy, the second book in the, I forgot, what's the series called? A Court of Thorn and Roses. This is the second book. I loved the series. I, I like the, this series too. That's why I'm rereading it. And you could check these books out at any of your local Glendale Library Arts and Culture branches. Um, the link to our website will be down in the description box. Yes. But look how cute these would look like. I'm on page 137. No, one. Yeah, 137. I'm about almost halfway. But look how cute. And you just like put them them there yeah so cute yeah so that was our video on making DIY resin bookmarkers with dried up flowers we hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as we loved making it um, and yeah tune in next time for another video from us don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at my Glendale LAC. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. bye.